This is a US M8 A1 bayonet. The US military used this in Vietnam and there is some versions that are still out today. This is for your belt. It's like a little quick attachment or you can run it through here. The fabric is very uh, robust and thick. The rivets are placed very nicely. That is the name of the bayonet right there. Very high quality, or what I would say decent quality. This leather is to wrap around your leg. The blade itself is very nice. It's got some rust on it. It's old. It's, sh it's been sharpened, as you can see. And, uh, this may be used a little bit, but for $30, $40, you can't really beat the price. So, the plastic handle has some pretty good texture to it. Pretty rough. Right? This is where you would attach it to your bayonet lug on your M16, which you cannot buy legally unless you have a Class 3 license. Most people know that. But that's where you're clipped into the lug, and that goes on the flash hider. This was not meant for AR 15s, it was meant for M16s with a 20 inch barrel. Because if you put this on an AR with a 15 inch barrel, or I'm at 16, my bad, it will. The barrel will be out here where the flash hider is, and this will be just rattling around. I will show that in another video. So, these knives were built pretty well for what they are. You can imagine they'd be you know, good for stabbing and cutting. The sheath itself is a very good, durable green plastic. Don't know what type of plastic it is. I haven't done any research on that, but the stitching and rivets and stuff are really nice these knives are used and you know, they're surplus so they're going to be a little rusty and dirty so they're only 30 40 dollars for now but they're going to go up in price eventually because that's what all bayonets are so yeah they're really nice and i got that from amazon y'all have a good day